Out of the many factors that we use to analyze stocks, one often neglected factor is the tracking of insider purchases. You see, as Peter Lynch once said, insiders might sell their shares for many reasons, but they buy them for only one reason. They think that the share price will increase. So in this video, I'm going to go through the reasons why we should follow insider purchases and which platforms we can use to track these insider trades. And make sure to stay until the end because I will showcase an example on how you can profit from insider buying from a blue chip stock. But before that, do help us to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for the algorithm to do its work and for you to enjoy more interesting investing ideas like this. In return, I will share with you a financial meme. Okay, coming back to the video. Before we even talk about insider trades, we need to look at the management's team insider ownership. So ideally, you want to look for a team that has a significant stake in the company, as this aligns their interests with those of shareholders. So for example, if you look at Genting Singapore, it is 52% majority owned by Genting Bahad, which in turn is owned by the Lim family who are also the chairman and part of the executive directors. Simply put, when you have a big stake in your own business, it incentivizes you to think on the long-term value creation. So next, let's talk about why we should follow insider purchases. So first off, insiders have access to information that the public like us usually don't. Okay, so because they work for the company, so they have an intimate understanding of how the business is doing. And if an insider purchases the shares, it can be a good sign that they have the confidence in the company's future. On top of that, insider buying can also signal positive news that hasn't been announced yet. All right, so in short, following insider purchases can help you stay ahead of the curve and potentially profit from this positive developments even before the market catches on. So how do we actually track all these insider purchases? So because there are several ways to do so, and the typical ways for us to get you know, these company filings under SGX in Singapore or the SEC in the US. However, that's a very tedious process. So to help you guys, I will demonstrate two of my favorite ones on how I can spot insider purchases and then do more research on the stocks. And so the first tool that I use is simply Wall Street. Okay, under the screener, the tab over here, you can actually select multiple fields. So you have a market, you have industry and advanced filters. What I will do is to select the market. So I've selected US. Okay, if you want, you can actually choose Singapore as well. All right, so next up, okay, I don't want to filter by industry. I'll just go for all the advanced filters. And over here, you can see that I have this insider buying ratio as well as market cap. So what I do is I just want to go for companies that are more than 1 billion in market cap size. So I don't want the, all those uh, small and mid cap stocks. I just want stocks that, you know, more people are familiar with. And then when I scroll down, I go for this insider buying ratio is between 70 and 100%. So I want you know it to be more positive, more on the buying side of things. Because when they buy, means they are confident in the market, uh, in the company itself. So once I do that, all right, it is auto, you know, it will auto run by itself. And over here I can see 158 companies found. So a few of them include, you know, those companies that we know, Berkshire Hathaway, PayPal Holdings, um, Dollar General, okay, Dollar Tree, and all that. Okay, so uh, I will just go through one example here. Uh, we also have Domino's Pizza. All right, so maybe I'll just go through uh, PayPal Holdings. So once I click on it, I can come to the main, uh, the ownership tab. Okay, I can see the recent insider transactions. So over here, I can see uh, as of 17 February this year itself, 
All right, Daniel, uh, the CEO of the company of PayPal, has bought 26,000 shares at around 76 US dollars. So the total value of the transaction is $1.9 million. Okay, the second tool that I use for local Singapore stocks is shareinvestor.com. Under fundamental tab, okay, over here, let's go to insider trades. And under this insider trades tab, we can scroll down a bit and look at the insider trades over the past 30 days. Okay, let's examine one of the trade. Okay, over here, I will just scroll down for a while. Okay, let's, for example, look at this trade uh, this recent trade done on 6 of april 2023 okay uh, this company is jb foods and you know the popular king go sing hui all right he's the either the director or the ceo and he has purchased 112,000 shares so he purchased 112,000 shares okay and the closing price is 52 cents so after the trade, after the trade, he has a total interest of 24.53% in JB Foods. So we can actually, you know, if you want to find stock ideas, you can just come here and then you can just scroll through the past 30 days. Um, what are the, you know, what are the companies that catch your attention? Like for example, DBS, um, Okay, uh, like maybe Sabana Reed, or oh, there's a big sell off by Quartz Capital Fund, you know, and things like that. Wrap it up. I want to show you how you can profit from insider buying from a blue chip stock example. Based okay, on this chart, we can see how the insiders have purchased shares. When DBS share price came down sharply during the COVID scare around March 2020. If you dig in further, you can see how these two independent directors are the savvy ones because they bought DBS shares for around $19 on 30 April 2020 itself. At the time of this video, DBS is already trading at around $32 on 12 of April 2023, so three years later, translating into the good. 68% gains in just three short years. Okay, so with that, I hope that you have found this video helpful. And if you do, please help me smash the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the algorithm to share with more people who will then like and subscribe to my channel again. Okay, so next up, you can also check out this video for five undervalued tech stocks with over 20% revenue growth. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and ciao.